everyone, this is Intuitive Edge. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, this is where we take an intuitive look at what's going on in our world. So I want to touch on a touchy subject that I just discovered within the last week, as many of you probably have also. And that is that the website Wayfair, is, there's some scandal brewing. The allegation is that there have been um, certain items that have been for sale on the website that are actually coded as traffic victims. But I just want to take a look at this from an intuitive point of view to see what, what is going on with this situation, if the allegations are true, and what might be coming of this situation. I'm going to shuffle up and we'll be right back. So the brief rundown is that there's an allegation that this website and a lot of others that operate could be fronts for dark purposes. And we know that, um, that human trafficking is a big problem and that there are a lot of websites that it's a big on the internet, okay? That's come out in, um, I think Mike Pom Secretary Pompeo talked about it, Bill Barr has talked about it, and it's, it's a widely known fact that if it wasn't for the internet, there wouldn't be near as much of a problem as it is today. And somebody recently found that um, certain items for sale that looked legitimate were actually coded for something else so the first question I wrote out for this spread is, uh, what do we need to know about this situation? Um, now I get the moon card. Now when I looked at this card, of course the meaning of the moon card is things that are in illusion, kind of the things behind the veil. But when I saw this card, I had so many messages come to me with this card, just the, the whole artwork, everything was drawing me in. So the first thing I see with this card um, with the moon card. I got that predator, that cat there, um, as a strong predator. Um, I began to hear things like uh, deception, illusion, a cover up, things not what they seem. Um, I also got hiding in plain sight, um, under cover of darkness, so with that moon card. Um, I also saw with the two trees in the back being like a funnel or a tunnel. Um, and I sensed innocence um, also. If you can see back there, let me get my little pen here. <laughs> All right, so uh, back here, this little thing is a little fairy. And I, you know, you think of fairies, little innocent little fairy, sweet fairy. And I got this feeling of innocence kind of being trapped in darkness um, and being funneled back, like these two trees being like the funnel and this fairy kind of being drawn back into this funnel and being funneled away. Um, I got this, the um, the idea of like, uh, like how you would herd sheep or cattle for in, into a chute, you know, kind of like herding things into a funnel. Um, I also got like darkness or no soul on the part of the perpetrators, just very, very dark. Um, I also was picking up on a dark stream, um, picking, I wrote down, picking out of a stream to dark purposes. So with this cat's front paw, um, okay, what I was seeing, just picture me, picture with me this, <laughs> of say, like, the, now this is totally unrelated, but just the image that I got. If you think about Amazon, it's like say you work in the Amazon warehouse and there's all these boxes that are on these conveyor belts, coming down the conveyor belts. And maybe your job at your particular station is you look for certain boxes as they're coming down the conveyor belt and going past you and you pick off certain ones and you put them on your conveyor belt to go another direction. That's what I was seeing, was like picking something out of a dark stream and putting it onto another conveyor belt, sending it off into another direction for another purpose. 
that was that was the imagery around what I was seeing. Okay. Okay, all right, second question. <laughs> Are the allegations that the website may be a front for trafficking, are those allegations true? Now I got a messenger on that. Uh, this is the sea kitten. As you see, this cat is trying to outrun the waves that are coming behind it. And I got this feeling of trying to stay one step ahead, trying to get ahead, um, trying to step ahead of, of what's coming. Um, so I do think that would indicate that there that there may be some truth to this because I got the sense or the feeling of needing to stay a step ahead of what's happening. So I think maybe there's some damage control going on or something that's like has some people worried. Um, but that feeling of I got to get ahead of this, I got to get ahead of what of what's just come out. Next question I got is the CEO of Wayfair involved or aware at least of maybe the front of this being used maybe for illicit purposes. Um, I got the Empress reversed. Now the Empress is a card of care, love. It's a mothering, nurturing card and this is reversed. And that could be something that's not being loving or nurturing or needing to have more of a loving and nurturing care. Um, there, there's not enough care. Okay, so what will come of this? I got another messenger. This one's reversed. It's the C Tom, the card of the offering being made. Offering being made, but it's upside down feels like there's a message not getting out and on the question of what will come of this I feel a lot of exposure perhaps unwanted exposure cats kind of laying out like on his back kind of all exposed and that that feeling of exposure um, makes me wonder if there's gonna be more eyes on this more light being shed on this I do think that there that in some way this exposure was planned. Like it didn't just get discovered like the other day. I think this has been known that this is going on and they're just now kind of like throwing it out there or getting more eyes on it. Um uh, yeah, this is this is a known thing. Okay, the outcome for the company, will this hurt them or will it just be swept under the rug and, you know, nothing will come of it? Okay, that's the question. I've got a reverse to a fire. Now, this card, this cat is looking out at its worldview, kind of being unformed and unseen and it's got some feeling with it of being messed with or I don't know want to use the word destroyed but it feels like that um, that something is going to be taken apart um, put back together to make it make it look different than it is um, but I don't think that's going to work. That's, it's going to be kind of like brushed off as it's not what it seems, um, the coincidences. Um, but I don't, I don't think that's going to work. I think there's too much exposure. I think there's too much that's already known. And I think that the eyes on now is just like, just for public. It's not like... Like, this is something that's already been known about by people, like prosecutors, I don't know, good good guys, I don't know. People have known about it. It's not a secret, and it's just now coming out, but this isn't just the first time that it's been known. I want to get that point across. Um, I don't think this is something that's going to, uh, I think it's going to hurt the company eventually. Um, again, it's gonna be made as though it's just transient, it's just a, 
a glitch or a process or something that's just moving through. I'm getting that image again of like, like the conveyor belt, you know, things coming down the pike and, and we, you know, things go certain directions and we don't have any control over what the details are. And I, that's going to be the argument made. I don't think it's going to work. Um, I don't think it's going to work. The, the doors are open on this. The, it's like the, the box is already open. We've already seen the contents. And it's... Um, there's a message, too, I'm feeling coming in about the people involved. If they are able and get some of the people rescued... Uh, and actually see them and get their stories that can corroborate. Um, because God, what happened was some of the things that were being sold, like a cabinet or a pillow, had the name of, the, of a person that had gone missing. And so the speculation is that those names are tied to victims. And so if that can be proven, and I'm just seeing that conveyor belt again, if that can be proven and somehow pulled those people off, um, off that conveyor belt and get them into like a witness protection program or something that um, can, they can then corroborate the stories. Um, but boy, I, I just, you know how big Amazon is. I'm just, I'm picking on them. Um, just because it's a good example in my mind, but if you think about Amazon, how big that corporation is and how big their, each of their warehouses are massive, massively huge. And you think of all of the conveyor belts in the different directions. That's how, that's just a, a scintilla probably of how big the networking is for human trafficking it's it's a big 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 problem and I'm so grateful to President Trump for putting a spotlight on it um, throughout his entire administration he has worked to expose it to bring light to it to call it out whenever he can um, to put people on a task force to bring awareness to this very grave issue it is an issue and it needs to be put to the light of scrutiny. It needs to be stopped, obviously. Um, so this is a good thing. And I think that whatever comes of this, uh, I just, I see it. I see the doors kind of coming off on the exposure of it, okay? But that moon card really spoke to me big time. Um, and I just got that really nasty kind of predator feel with it. And again, stepping in that dark stream to pull out and to send them down. Um, I do think that, that, that there is truth to these front groups, these companies. They're not the only one. But anyway, all right, I'm, that's enough rambling. Okay, thanks everybody. And we'll catch you next time. This has been Intuitive Edge. Bye for now. Thank you.